Welcome to Starchive Quick Start Tutorial. Find, manage, and share your media. Let's start off by uploading some files. Click the Upload button. You can either upload from your computer, Dropbox, or Google Drive. We're going to upload from our computer. Select Browse and drag the files you would like to upload into the area. You will immediately see the files uploading here. Now that your media is uploaded, you can view them by file type. You can also go to the folder section. We listened to your request for a hierarchy or tree layout of folders and added a third view just for folders called panel view. Panel view works like the finder on your desktop. You can click on and expand any folder and the contents of that folder will show up in a new panel to the right of the parent folder. This will allow you to explore what is in each folder in context. Also, folders uploaded into Starchive will stay organized the exact same way as they were on your device. Now we can invite new members to our Starchive. Go to this menu where you can manage your profile and the Starchive and click the plus button here to add a new member. From here, all you have to do is click invite new member and put in the information of the person you'd like to invite. You can then choose whether you'd like them to be a guest who can only view or an admin who can do everything. Once you click send invite, Peter will receive an invitation to the Starchive via email. Back at the main menu, let's look at a file. Click on a file and then click preview. From here, you can see important information and also the auto tags. Auto tags are automatically generated by a powerful recognition software. You can use these auto tags to search things like dogs and automatically be shown all files associated with the search dog. Now let's add these dogs to the workspace. We redesigned the workspace to be more intuitive and explicit. You can drag files in and out of the workspace or add them via the context menus. Files stay in the workspace until you clear them so you don't have to worry about performing a new search or taking other actions in the application while you are still working within the workspace. Once you have assembled your files, you can take many actions including playback, adding tags or descriptions, creating a new collection with the files, or sharing them with a friend or colleague. The workspace can be viewed as a thumbnail strip, in preview mode, or expanded mode for your convenience. From here, we can batch tag our puppies. Simply select the workspace menu and click tag. Enter the tag you would like to add to the files and hit enter, and then select tag items. Now these pictures can be found whenever you search for the word puppies. We just added two views called tags and auto tags. Within the tags view, you will see all tags that you or your colleagues created and the files associated with those tags. Alternatively, within auto tags view, you will see a list of all tags that were automatically generated by Starchive. This allows you to search and manage your tags much more easily. Let's add all of these files to a new collection. Collections are great ways to organize your media without creating duplicate files. Click on the workspace menu and select add to new collection. This collection will be called dogs. You can also add a description or tags to your collection. Lastly, let's share the files within your new collection with the world. Choose the collection you would like to share, click on the collection menu, and select share. Pick whether or not you would like the media to be downloadable and copy the link. Anyone with the link will be able to view and download these pictures. And that's it for the Starchive Quick Start tutorial. Create, find, share, repeat.